Hello and welcome to another Royal Reviewer live pop-up chat. Um, I really hope I can have many of you join me live for the chat but do not worry if you do miss me live I know some people are still at work because of the time difference between the UK and America Canada or wherever you may be in the world but if you do watch up on catch up don't worry you can still watch the whole conversation uh, and you can read what was said in the chat room and you can also comment um, in the comment section of the actual video. Um, so this is a happy occasion, so I have not even taken out my black news fan flap. We have the yellow one, which I'm going to fan flap straight away, um, because, hurrah! Um, officially, this Christmas season has begun, because Her Majesty the Queen um, has left Buckingham Palace, London, for Norfolk uh, to go to Sandringham. And of course, Sandringham is the Queen's um, Norfolk country estate, which is privately owned by the Queen. And she spends all of her Christmases, uh, or rather at least many of her Christmases, um, over her entire life at Sandringham. I know some um, have also been spent at Windsor, but the majority have always been spent at Sandringham, um, and certainly in recent years. So, all of the family is expected to attend Sandringham at some point, not the extended family. We saw yesterday that she had her annual Christmas lunch at Buckingham Palace for um, her family and the extended family, so the cousins and, and their families. So she had her Christmas lunch, and I did say that last year it was round about the 21st when she made the journey from Buckingham Palace by train um, up to Norfolk, but she did it this year a, a day earlier on the 20th and it kind of makes sense she had a big a big lunch party yesterday so I think it's about time that she started her Christmas season and she will she will kind of stay in at Sandringham uh, roughly until uh, probably mid-February or early February at least so um, let me find the chat room because of course I want to see what all of you are saying and who is in the room today so do excuse me if I don't do all the hellos, but I have seen if you're here. And I've got lots of information to talk about the Queen arriving. So let me find the chat. Okay, we have uh, Wendy here, Kathy here, and, uh, and that's it at the moment. You, do you know what? I'm not sure people are getting notifications uh, when I do these live chats. YouTube, it's YouTube's fault. Blame YouTube. Um, I have nothing to do with the notifications. I am so sorry if you are not getting notifications when I pop up. The only thing I can suggest is that you um, unnotification bell, maybe even unsubscribe and then resubscribe, obviously, and then re-hit the notification bell. That's the only thing I can suggest. Um, okay, yes, yay, the Queen is here. She's on my shirt today. Um, hello to everyone who has just joined. So if you have just joined, I have done quite a bit of talking already, but I haven't got into the main part of the story. So the main thrust point of this video is that the Queen has officially left Buckingham Palace in London and headed to Norfolk uh, to spend Christmas with her family, the royal family, at uh, her Sandringham estate, which is her privately owned estate. Uh, she left today, which is Thursday the 20th of December 2018. Last year she left on the 21st and it is it comes a day after she hosted her annual Christmas lunch for the British royal family and obviously her extended uh, family. So she arrived at Kings Lynn Station alone and she was flanked by her security that included her own personal protection officers and uh, there was obviously lo um, local police as well. Um, she was wearing, okay, well, let's talk about what the Queen was wearing because actually um, I quite loved the outfit. She was wearing a Burberry headscarf, um, no less, with a dark camel coat. Now underneath the camel coat, I zoomed in and I, I saw a little bit of fabric poking out um, from beneath the coat and it was, it kind of looked like it may have been a recycled outfit. Uh, the, the style of, of the pattern looked very 70s to me, actually. Um, I think it may have been something that she'd really dug out of, of her wardrobe. Or, I do know that from reading uh, the Queen's wardrobe book, that sometimes she is gifted um, fabric as a gift, and then sometimes this fabric isn't used until decades later. So maybe she's had a new dress made with old 70s material that was gifted to her. I don't know. Um, but anyway, it, take a look, zoom in. It did look 
uh, kind of like a 70s pattern but it looked nice it looked very lively and, and colorful um, and very much um, seasonal I would say um, she had on her nails her typical pink ballet slippers um, and on her lips as well because she has ballet slippers by Essie I do believe it is E-S-S-I-E -S -S and she was wearing some gloves too and she was clutching her famous Lorna handbag how about that <gasps> Lorna mm -hmm. I've got to tell you Lorna Lorna don't just do handbags um, they do do handbags they do lots of different handbags and you can order the same style as the Queen. By the way, this is non-sponsored. This is just me going on the Lorna website. <gasps> they do wallets as well. <gasps> wallets and purses. <gasps> okay, I have seen an amazing Lorna wallet. Prince Charles has a Lorna card holder. Um, he, I don't think he carries like loose change, but he has a Lorna wallet for his cards that he travels with. So, um, but yes, I've seen one with a, with a coin purse and somewhere to put notes. Um, and it's by Lorna and it's amazing and I really want one. So if I do get some Christmas money, I may be spending on a Lorna wallet. <gasps> they also do a Lorna pen case for accessories. Um, so do go check out the Lorna website, L-A-U-N-E-R. It's amazing. Okay, carrying on. Um, we didn't see the Queen with the Duke of Edinburgh, even though we know that the Duke was at yesterday's Christmas party. Um, so why wasn't he with the Queen, I hear you ask? Well, um, it's nothing sinister, I can tell you. Um, last year, apparently, he did travel by car. Now, I don't know whether that's anything to do with the step which you, which you have to negotiate from the train. Um, or whether it's just maybe he prefers car travel now, I don't know. But the Queen was very deft on her feet. Um, she kind of hopped off that train sprightly, as you can imagine. Um, so, you know, she handled that step really. Look, I'm just playing with my hat ball. Um, I'm playing with my pom-pom. I feel like a cat. Um, <laughs> but yes, the Queen managed the um, disembarkation of the train really deftly um so she was fabulous with that nothing to worry about i'm i'm i was wondering maybe he didn't want to be seen because uh, of course the paparazzi were there i was wondering whether he didn't want to be seen disembarking the train and that's why in recent years he maybe hasn't um gone on the train and traveled by car instead i don't know uh, but that's kind of what i'm guessing or maybe you know the car is just more convenient for for him um maybe the queen just likes taking the train um, who knows? I don't really know. Um, but anyway, nothing to worry about with the Duke. As far as I'm aware, he's perfectly well uh, fit and healthy, as we saw him yesterday. Um, when the Queen was on the train, uh, the paparazzi got photographs of her through the window and she was wearing her dark glasses. Uh, she wore the same dark glasses when she had her cataract done, when she was when she attended Ascot this year. So maybe she's still trying to protect her eyes um, from bright light. Maybe that's still sometimes maybe troubling her. But she was seen wearing the dark glasses aboard the train, but she had removed them for when she disembarked. The luggage that was seen carried off was really cute because there was a briefcase and it looked a rather old, slightly battered briefcase, but um, nevertheless still functional and practical for the Queen. And it had a label, the Queen, written on it, which I thought was fabulous. And there was also a, a bright red festive, almost as red, I think, as this hat, uh, with also a red posy. So I can only imagine that maybe she received the posy as she left London, uh, because, of course, these photographs were taken when she got to Norfolk. By the way, the photographs, just like yesterday, they are paparazzi photographs, which means I cannot use them. It would be breaking copyright. So I will be putting the photographs in a link. Once once I finish this video, I will go off and I will link in the description. So give me a few minutes um, and I will link it. And then you can come back and see the photographs. And uh, you can come back to this video and leave a comment on what you think. But the Queen... Um, I mean, obviously, she was getting off train in terms of facial expressions. There were a few really smiley um, photographs, but the, the rest were kind of typical, you know, <laughs> I'm just getting off a train type face. But we did see a nice big broad smile. Um, so the Queen definitely looked well, healthy and happy. Um, again, like I said, there was lots of royal protection 
and the police apparently combed the area as they would, as I would expect. And apparently there was a whole group of teenagers and bystanders who didn't know that there was going to be royal movement uh, and there was going to be a royal arrival. So they were completely per perplexed and bemused about all the police activity going on, which I thought was rather funny. Because just imagine standing there and then suddenly, like me, when I pop up, off pops the Queen! Just imagine the Queen um, just hopping off a train at your local station. I mean, how fabulous would that be? That would be really amazing. Um, so yes, she 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 completely bemused bystanders, bystanders and a group of teenagers. Um, so on the train, the photograph we saw when she was wearing the dark glasses uh, sat opposite her was who we think is her personal protection officer. Uh, it was a male. And like I say, we think it was the personal protection officer. And the Queen obviously will stay at Sandringham until February. Just a few little Christmas uh, traditions. Uh, Christmas Eve is when the royal family decorate the tree. And the tree is in the white drawing room and is a 20 foot tree uh, grown on the estate. Um, one of the best things that they like about decorating the tree is decorating with Queen Victoria's set um, of little glass angels. I would love, I would love to hang one of Queen Victoria's miniature glass angels on the tree. Um, so yes, if you get to hang one of those, you're highly honoured. Um, and I think George and Charlotte would would be a prudent to stay away from that tree in case they knock them off. <gasps> Imagine breaking one of Queen Victoria's glass angels. <gasps> You'd never live it down, would you? <laughs> um, and also, we think we've seen the last actual engagement for a member of the royal family um, for this year. And that is Prince Charles, who conducted an investiture, uh, at obviously at Buckingham Palace. And like I say, it's possibly the last royal engagement of 2018. Um, I've been out shopping, so uh, I kind of just got back from shopping. So if any have happened, then I haven't heard of them. But I think that is the last one. I want to see what all of you are saying. I just skipped up um, some of the comments. So lots of people saying hello. So hello to you. Um, uh, Kiki or Kiki Cat says, how was your day? I've been finishing my Christmas shopping. Have you all, are you all ready and prepared? I'm pretty much uh, done. Uh, Robin says, I am getting notifications. Juliet says, hello from Texas. Uh, Cindy's home just in time. Jennifer says, hi, got on the live chat. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas to you. Uh, Lou Guy says, love the Queen t-shirt. Um, hello to everyone else. Uh, Lou Guy says, I love that we are talking specifically about the Queen. Yes, we are. And I'm really glad to be able to bring you something that's not um, any of the other royals related. And no scandal. No scandal. I'm not doing any scandal today. If I read a scandal question, I'm not answering it. I want this to be nice. Um, no scandal. Uh, okay, so people are getting notifications. Well, that's good. Uh -huh, let's see if there's anything else. Uh, Kiki Cat says, well, I'm going to go and watch some old videos. Merry Christmas. Um, you can watch some old videos if you want. Um, Danielle Board says, we have Essie nail polish here in the, in the US. Yes, lipstick, and I think it must be the, the matching nail polish as well. Although, it's not, I think, um, yes, it's ballet slippers. Ballet slippers on the lips. Uh, Dawn thinks that uh, Her Majesty looked very nice. Sweet Serenity loved the ensemble. Oh, yes, she was also, um, an aide was seen clutching um, a matching kind of um, lap blanket that kind of matched the, the headscarf too which I thought was rather lovely because we do know that when the Queen is in a carriage or travelling or in a car or train she does like a blanket on the lap. Uh, Lily, Lilen says I think the Queen is a remarkable person. Uh, Lou Guy says my card holder is filling up on the door. Um, yes it is, <laughs> it is indeed. Um, Ashley said, please sing a Christmas song. What Christmas song do you want? Suggest some. And I'll see if I know them. Uh, Frazzled Halo says, I actually think his hip hurts him on the steps. Possibly. Like I say, I think uh, with all the waiting paparazzi there, getting photographs, maybe disembarking that kind of awkward step that we all know is on a train might not be the thing that he wants to be seen 
doing. So perhaps a car is the preferred option and that is okay, that is fine. Um, Cindy says, yes, the prince is wearing his finest scowl, looking out of the car window. Oh, I don't like scowls. Um, who could run several countries as long as she has? She has tall shoes to fill. She does indeed. Um, <laughs> I like her shoes. Oh, we have a donation. What was the donation? Two dollars from Sharon. Thank you so, so much, Sharon Jackson. I'll give you a fan flap. Thank you so, so much for the super chat donation. Um, I really do have the best viewers. Um, hello to everyone who's just joined. Um, Ali says, I really rely on your links to the pictures. Well, obviously, I will, any pictures I can use, I will, I, I use. Um, but there are some, like the paparazzi pictures, you just can't. And if you're seeing them on YouTube somewhere, um, they really shouldn't be showing them. Um, I agree. No one dares say anything bad about the Queen. Um, and nor they should. She hasn't done anything wrong. Uh, Candice Bavaria loved the scowl. I'm just going up a little bit. Hang on. Uh, Candice Bavaria says the Queen's on her, her own getting off the train. But where is Prince Philip? He left by car. Um, so we think he's going to travel by car like he did last year. And like I say, I think it's possibly because of the awkward step off the train with the new hip and all the, all that kind of thing going on. Um, hello to Louise. Um, visitors? I'm getting all these names wrong today. Uh, it says, I believe Philip goes by car to be able to, uh, yes. Exiting the train, I think would be a little bit awkward maybe with the hip. Uh, Margaret says, you're actually wearing one right now. What are you wearing? Um, as you said, I hope you understand Spanish. I did a, I did a term of Spanish at school, so um, a lot of words I can kind of recognize. I can read Spanish better than I can speak it. Let's put it that way. Uh, where's Rory? He's there. <laughs> Maybe you can see. Can you see? There he is, look. Can you see him? Ah. Oh. He was down there. Um, MB says, why the train? Okay, so uh, Prince Philip wasn't seen with the Queen and we think that he has gone by car like he did last year up to Norfolk. Um, and I think that the reason, uh, nothing confirmed on this, but I think the reason is the awkward um, step that you have to get off and on when you get on and off a train. Uh, the Queen was very, very good at getting on and off, but with all the waiting paparazzi that are papping all over the place, um, I don't think he'd want to be seen disembarking uh, the train, especially, you know, he's just had the new hip. So, um, so yes, I think maybe getting on and off might be a little issue. So the car may be the preferred choice, and that is perfectly, perfectly fine. Yes, it's a hello to mother of the drummer. And you do see Rory now. Um, the, the handbag manufacturer is Lorna, L-A-U-N-E-R. And um, if you want to buy one of those bags, you've got to fork out a fortune because they're very expensive. Uh, but great investment pieces. Uh, Kelly says, totally into your Queen Elizabeth t-shirt. Why, thank you. Uh, I do love it. Look, to get the full glory. Look at it. Isn't that amazing? <gasps> I flashed some tummy. <gasps> no, my goodness. I'm going to be age restricted on the channel. Uh, yes, I got it right this time. Mother of the drummer. Uh, Rister says fabulous t-shirt. Thank you. Oh, and I hope you're enjoying my um, tiara and, and hat combination again. It's the lover's knot. Look. Do you see? There we go. Um, <laughs> Speak Sanity is la la laughing at the flushes, the flashes. <laughs> Astrid's laughing too. Well, sometimes we all have wardrobe malfunctions, don't we? Janet Jackson isn't the only one. And I'm not doing a Janet Jackson.
Um, <laughs> you see the queen on the screen. Oh yes, yeah, Susan, it was one of my favourite tiaras as well. Um, Tonya says, thank you for keeping uh, us up with the royal family, always the truth. I do my very best. Uh, I definitely do my very best. So yes, I mean, basically the royals have kind of wound down all of their engagements. I don't think we're going to be seeing any more engagements now until the new year. So um, I'm afraid you're going to have to see lots of me popping up talking to you about things. Oh, by the way, I have moved my weekly live chat forward by a whole 24 hours. So it will still go out at, to what, uh, at what is 12am UK time, but it'll be on the Saturday rather than Sunday. So about 30 minutes after I finish my Saturday live chat, my weekly vlog will be premiered. Uh, so I need to get that done as well. Um, but yes, I will be doing just a few kind of random videos and, you know, talking about whatever's going on. Uh, what am I doing for Christmas? Uh, family and parents and visiting relatives and Christmas dinner presents which I've nearly got all finished now actually oh I was disappointed shopping oh my goodness I've been after a really nice leather belt for a while and I always used to have a really nice leather belt it broke so I've been wearing you know the kind of really cheap ones that you get with like when you buy a pair of trousers sometimes they come with a belt that's not me I like a nice belt so I've been looking for a nice one. So I found one um, in the shops today and it was by Dents. And Dents has a royal warrant. It has a royal crest. So I know it's a good mate. Prince Charles uses Dents. And I think so does uh, Prince Philip, the Duke, of, the Duke of Edinburgh. It was a reversible belt, black and brown. It was really thick leather, hand stitched, hand stitched. It was perfect. So I was going to get it for Christmas. I get there. It didn't fit, did it? I think they got the size wrong because I didn't fit into a small. Yes, I wasn't a small. So anyway, I looked on the rack thinking they might have a medium or even a large. Was there any? Was there any? Not indeed. <gasps> no belts. So now I'm beltless. So I'm going to have to go on the website and find the belt and then... <laughs> I can have my nice dense belt. Uh, Mrs. BSN says the Princess Royal has a busy first. The Princess Royal has a busy every month. Literally, a busy every month. Uh, Mrs. BSN says I bet if Justin Timberlake was with you and pulling off your shirt while singing his song, you would be Janet too. <laughs> Um, I am not doing a Janet Jackson. There is no nothing going on down there. Oh, why does the Queen take the train? I thought you were on about Prince Philip. Um, the Queen takes the train uh, because I think it's mostly tradition. She likes going by train at Christmas. There is absolutely no reason why the Queen couldn't take the car. Um, or even a helicopter, to be perfectly honest. But I think she just likes taking the train. There is no necessarily logical reason for it. If you can hear something, it's Rory attacking my chair. Which I'm gonna, I'll, I'll fan flap him. Oh, that stopped him. <laughs> he didn't like the fan flap. Um, yeah, so there's no logical reason to it. Uh, the car would have been just as good. Helicopter, she's gone one year when she had the cold. She went by helicopter. I think she just likes taking the train at Christmas. I think it's one of those traditions which she just likes to do. Um, just like hanging Queen Victoria's glass angels on Christmas Eve, um, the Queen likes to go to Sandringham uh, for Christmas on the train. Well, no, I have a belt, but it's it's a cheap one. I don't like cheap belts. And actually, I think it's PVC. I hang my head in shame. Can I sing? It depends what it is. And no, I didn't see a lady in waiting. Uh, because perhaps the lady in waitings uh, are probably have probably gone off to have their own Christmases. The Queen doesn't like to have um, staff in attendance if they don't need to have them. 
Uh, and yes, I'm really looking forward to seeing the royals attending the Christmas service too. Um, and thank you to the moderators for doing a wonderful job. Uh, Tim says, I think it's time to block some people on this chat. Um, the moderators are on it. Uh, can I say Ellis? Ellis? <laughs> Ellis. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I don't know what that was quite for, but Ellis. Um, Live, Love and Laugh says, the people at the station didn't seem to react on seeing the Queen at the station. They all seem to be going about their business. It's like, oh, the Queen's here. <laughs> Elizabeth says, have I decided what, uh, we are ha what I'm having for Christmas dinner? Um, well, my mum cooks a Christmas dinner. And I think, I mean, traditionally it's turkey, but we have had chicken. I like chicken. Chicken's my favourite. So I'm hoping it's chicken. What did I get my cats for Christmas? They get treated all year round. <laughs> they have the best biscuits. They have the best everything. Um, so I, I haven't technically got them anything. I know that's mean. Uh, but no, they get treated all year round, literally. They're cats. Uh, Rista says you inspired me to ask for a tiara. Well, well done. It's always a tiara occasion. Um, how long do they stay at Sandringham? Well, the bulk of the family will be gone after Boxing Day. Uh, and then the family will visit periodically uh, throughout the, the festive period. And the Queen will stay there until early February. Uh, what? No special... Okay, catnip. I have six boxes of herbal tea that is infused with catnip in the house. I didn't realise. Um, so my kitties will be going off the walls every day, every time I brew. Uh, oh yes, I need to wrap my presents too. Um, hello to Pam G. Am I going to do a video about British Christmas traditions? Yes, that is one that I can definitely do. Uh, Lisa is having lasagna and meat. Very Italian. Um, hang on. Uh, Colette says, thank you, you do a good job. Why is the Queen so against Meghan? She's not. And is it true that Harry's uh, tired of Meghan? Uh, we're not doing anything negative in this chat, uh, but all that is definitely not true. Oh, your name is Ellis Roberts. Say Ellis James Roberts. Ellis James Roberts. 240 in the chat, apparently. Um, Ali says, my three cats love catnip. They always get new toys for Christmas with catnip. Six boxes of herbal tea infused with catnip is enough. <laughs> OK, so I'm going to leave it here tonight because basically that is all that's gone on. Um, and I will do a video about British Christmas traditions and what the royal family get up to, how they have their Christmas. I may do it in one of these pop-up chats and we can just uh, talk about it. Uh, but thank you so, so much for tuning in to this video. I am going to go now. What time is it? It is quarter to nine p.m. Um, in the UK. So I need to go and cook my dinner. I have a Yorkshire pudding with some vegetables and some sausages, what we call bangers and mash. And I have some sweet, some carrot and swede on the side and I'm going to make it with some gravy so I might uh, film it show you what it's done when it's finished for my weekly vlog so uh, do go and check that out weekly vlog on Saturday oh by the way I do also I am going to make a video um, there is a website which replicates um, Megan's clothes and Catherine's clothes and tiaras and royal jewellery and they have a store and they have given me a special discount code for Royal Reviewer viewers. So if you buy something and you enter my code, which I'll do a video on separately, you will get 10% off um, that website, whether it be clothes or tiaras or whatever. Um, so I'll find out how long they're going to keep the code open for, and then I'll make a video on it. So um, stay tuned. You will get 10% off tiaras. So woohoo! Uh, just, by be just by being a Royal Reviewer viewer. Uh, and entering in my code, which I'll tell you in the video when I make it. So, from me in Shropshire... Oh, by the way, um, so make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. 
Um, hit that bell, just in case it works. I don't know if it will. So from me in Shropshire, goodbye. <laughs>